What do you do when you get married? That's easy. You take someone who's just as useless and horrible as you are, and then you shackle yourself to them. And then you say, we're not running away, no matter what happens. Yeah, well, that, that's perfect, because then you don't get to run away. And the thing is, is like, if you can run away, you can't tell each other the truth. Because if you tell someone the truth about you and they don't run away, they weren't listening. And so if you don't have someone around that can't run away, then you can't tell them the truth. And so that's part of the purpose of the marriage. It's like, okay, okay. I'll bet on you, you bet on me. It's a losing bet. We both know that. But <laughs> given our current circumstances, we're unlikely to find anyone better. That's for sure. <laughs> you know? There are two things that come off of that. One is, you know, people are waiting around to find Mr. or Mrs. Right. It's like, here's something to think about, man, to put yourself on your feet right. If you went to a party and you found Mr. Right, and he looked at you and didn't run away screaming, that would indicate that he wasn't Mr. Right at all. Right? It's like the old Nietzschean joke. Uh, if someone loves you, that should immediately disenchant you with them. <laughs> right, right. Or it's the Woody Allen joke. I never belonged to a club that would take me as a member. So, so that's, a, that's an interesting, that's a very interesting thing to think about. And so you're going to shackle yourself to someone who's just as, imp as imperfect as you are. And then the issue is, you, you, you might be in a situation where you can actually negotiate. Because you might think, well, there's some things about you that aren't going so right. And there's some things about me that aren't going so right. And we're bloody well stuck with the consequences for the next 50 years. So we can, we can either straighten this out or we can suffer through it for the next five decades. And you know, people are of the sort that without that degree of seriousness, those problems will not be solved. You'll leave things unnamed, because there's always an out. It's like, and it's the same thing when you're living together with someone. You know that people who live together before they're married are more likely to get divorced, not less likely. And the reason for that is, what exactly are you saying to one another when you live with each other? Just think about it. Well, for now, <laughs> You're better than anything else I can trick. <laughs> but I'd like to reserve the right to trade you in. <laughs> Conveniently, if someone better happens to stumble into me. <laughs> well, how could, how could someone not be insulted to their core by an offer like that? Now, they're willing to play along with it because they're going to do the same thing with you. Now, well, that's exactly it. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know you're not going to commit to me, so that means you don't value me or our relationship above everything else. But as long as I get to escape if I need to, then I'm willing to put up with that. It's like, that's a hell of a thing. I mean, you might think, how stupid is it to shackle yourself to someone? It's like, it's stupid, man. There's no doubt about that. But compared to the alternatives, it's pretty damn good. Because without that shackling, there are things you will never, ever learn. Because you'll avoid them. You can always leave. And if you can leave, then you don't have to tell each other the truth. It's as simple as that, because you can just leave. And then you don't have anyone you can tell the truth to.